what made you decide to actually start an OnlyFans? So after I got sober, I got a little job in a preschool and uh, I loved it, but it didn't pay very well. Uh, so I just started doing like, I got into the gym. So I started doing like fitness shoots, fitness modeling shoots on the side. Um, I used to model when I was younger. I was pushing it a bit by then in terms of my age, but like, hey, like I thought I could earn a bit of money. And um, I just put some stuff on Instagram and it grew. And um, I'd, I'd left the preschool by this point and a friend who was an OnlyFans creator just suggested that I sign up and I thought, well, it might help pay for my fuel, you know? So I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, how how did it start off? Like, were you just posting clothed photos? Like, how quickly did people sign on? Yeah, so um, when I was a little bit younger, I did do a, a bit of a stint nude modeling. I did some glamour. I did some sort of, like, artist's figure modeling stuff. So I was quite comfy nude. I had some backlog of that stuff. Um, so I posted some of that up, posted some long, lingerie pics, you know. Um, that was kind of it. Um but the response, like, from people was, um, well, I thought I'd earn, like, a few hundred pounds or something like that. And I think in my f- very first week, it was a 1,000. And so I thought, oh, hmm, it might, you know, I'll keep posting and j- just see, you know. But I didn't have a clue how to run a page, you know, or anything like that. I didn't. Know. Yeah. Yeah. But you, I mean, you figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What uh? At what point did you tell your family that this was the career you were pursuing, and were they supportive of it? Um, I think like it's kind of like that technique where you have to tell someone something they they don't like. So instead, you tell them something worse first, and then say, "Oh no, no, it's, that was a joke." But this, and then they don't take it so hard, right? So, I guess it was the same because like you know, once you've been a raging addict and like tried to take your life multiple times and been in police cells and stuff so you're doing an only fans and people are like eh, eh, all right like so there's <laughs> there's a bit of that but i think also like <laughs> also sense. i think they saw the grind behind it you know mm-hmm. like i think they saw the effort and the work because it's a lot of like you know you take hot pics and i really enjoy that part but there's a lot of laptop stuff there's a lot of admin um mm-hmm. and uh so i think they saw that you know i think they saw that and they were pretty chill from the start yeah and, you know, OnlyFans is what really sets it apart from, you know, other platforms that came before it was it's sure it's about the content and the sexy fix in the video, but so much of it is about connecting with your fans and talking to people. It's a lot of talking to people. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Mm. Yeah. It, it. Yeah. I, I didn't actually, I didn't, um, And uh, I'm a bit of an all or nothing person. Like if I'm doing something, I want to be really, really give it my all. So I did. And yeah, it it got quite exhausting. Like I didn't know about, you know, making sure you take days off or getting someone else to schedule your posts, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there was a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Yeah. Do you have, um, do you enjoy talking and connecting with your fans? I do. And I think it's actually... It's very much like real life sort of relationships, friendships, if you will. Some people you click with and some people you just don't. Mm -hmm. Like I've had, I have some people that were there since the very start, which is embarrassing for me because the first selfies I took were absolutely terrible, right? But they were there from the start. And you get some people that you just have a little chat with, like you might talk sexy with once and that'd be that. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.